This video features organ performance by Raul Ramirez. Ice cream was also provided by Friends of Babor Park. Very kind and generous act. Enjoy. So from, from Paris, I'm going to play a piece by a composer called uh, Chasmarie Vidor. He, was, he had Hungarian ascendancy, so a little bit gypsy. And that's something that comes into his music. His music is really extremely energetic. So if, if you want to listen what Jorgen can do, uh, at the end of this piece, which is about six minutes, at the end, uh, you're going to be able to listen the entire ending, but I think in the zoo they are going to be able to listen the entire ending as well. So <laughs> just prepare yourself. It's extremely virtuosic, so I hope you can see the screens right now. Uh, it's one of those very difficult pieces, but it's really so powerful and energetic that I'm pretty sure they're going to love it, because I love it too. So, for, by Charles Marie Vidor, the first movement from his sixth symphony. Yeah, he wrote six, actually he wrote 12. But you know, the best things always come in the middle. So the first movement for the sixth symphony might be the right. Thank you.
Thank you, thank you, thank you very much. So this is a piece I play sometimes on Sundays at 2 p.m. at the end because uh, the audience of the Sundays, they can vote. So if you want to actually be part of a concert, Sundays 2 p.m. is your opportunity here because you get the program from our greeters and then you can vote the piece you like the most and I repeat that piece the following Sunday. So this one, every time I play this piece I just played, everybody vote for it. So it's a win, win, win. But it's actually classical music. So what I just played is what people call classical music. So there is very good, energetic, wonderful classical music out there. You just have to look for it. And if you don't find it, just come to me. Sundays 2 p.m. Did I say that already? Sundays 2 p.m.? Okay, yeah. Um, well, that is over. So let's go back to the music again. Uh, after this piece, I'm going to play something less classical. I'm going to play something from the uh, 1920s. It's a piece for ch kids, for children, you know? Do you like kids? Do you like children? <laughs> yeah, I, I mean, I, I like children, but I never managed to eat a whole one. So, <laughs> so this, this piece, yeah, everybody likes children, so. So this piece was written uh, for kids, and it's, a, it's called Ditsy Fingers, because your fingers have to get ditsy. And uh, mine are kind of ditzy right now because it's starting to be chilly up here. And I did, uh, it's, it's it was written by Seth Comfrey, who was a very successful band. Uh, you know, the big band, jazz big band. He had a jazz big band in New York. And he wrote this piece for piano for children. And then uh, a crazy organist from Spain that happened to come to San Diego thought, oh, this is wonderful. Let's make a crazy arrangement for organ. And that's what you're going to hear. So in this crazy arrangement for organ made by this, this crazy Spanish organist, um, you're gonna listen some percussion stuff like this. That's a real xylophone, it's up there, right there. How can the xylophone, it's, it's like the ones you find in an orchestra, you know, with all the boot pieces and you have to strike it with a, with a hammer. So how can the xylophone sound up there if I'm down here? Very simple. The Sprecher's Organ Society that take care of the concerts here in this organ. And you can become a member starting by 5,000 a year and going down to 25 bucks a year. Hello, that's the price of a coffee in La Jolla. And you will be joining the society that make here the concerts possible. So just think about that. So the society has many volunteers. We are really like a big family. It's, the ambient is really great. We enjoy a lot. So we have one up there with a the xylophone, uh, chime into an iron ball on his ankle, and we feed him with pizzas. So we feed, we feed him pizzas over the week. So on the weekend, on Sundays when I play, you see, he's very precise. Thank you, John. Then, um, that's John, but we are not sexist. We, act, we accept all kind of people. So Mary is right there with the chimes. Right there. And then we also have the harp. That's Albert. And then we have the, the clock and spiel. I forgot his name. So, sorry guy. So all that is going to come into this piece. All those sounds are not produced by any speakers. So not those, not those. It's everything inside the organ, the real instruments. Everything is happened because, let's say the xylophone. It's like a real orchestra xylophone and on top of each the piece of wood, there is a little hammer with a bellow, a little bellow. So when I play the key, I'm, I'm directing the wind into that little bellow that uh, exhausts and then the hammer struck the, the xylophone. And it's the same thing everywhere. So just think about the amount of engineering you need to do to make that work that fast and so safe. It's always so precise. And this is 1915. Kind of. So now let's go into Ditsy Fingers before my fingers get really Ditsy. So I hope you like it, Seth Pumphrey, 1920s Ditsy Finger for kids. Everybody likes kids. So you're going to love it.
Thank you very much. So, my fingers are getting dates. I am getting ditzy. That's obvious. I'm starting, in, instead of fingers, I'm starting to feel like I have chorizo. You know what chorizo is? Yeah. Yeah, yeah we have a lot of that in Spain. So, let's say it's like uh, hot dogs. So, I'm starting to play the keys like, like hot dogs. So, for that reason, now I'm going to play with my feet. So, this thing I have here, and I'm not pointing my feet. I know you know these are feet. So I know, I understand that's the level. So I'm pointing my shoes. So this thing here are shoes. You see the shoes in the camera, right there in the screen? So these are white shoes. So some people that have never seen how an organ is played, they can actually see my feet. And I actually play with them. So I'm sure you have been able to see that in the screen right there. Those of you, you cannot, I'm so sorry. That's my hands, that's my feet. That's my feet, that's my hand. But you're still in time to switch. Now, I'm going to play a piece just with my feet. So this is what happened. In 1915, when they developed this park, they had the Pan American Exposition. It was a great way to promote San Diego. It was so successful. In 1935, they did it again. And every one of those venues, it needed to have a, a march. You know, the music for that venue. So a composer wrote a march called Expo. Guess why? Because it was an exposition. So that was a very ingenious title. So you make the music for the exposition. How can I name it? Uh, the March of ah, Expo. So that's the name, Expo. Uh, I'm supposed to play the march because I'm the civic organist in San Diego. That's kind of music I need to know. But I didn't find that music really in the same level of others. So I thought, how can I make it more fun? Well, let's play the entire march with my feet. So there we go. Thank you, I, I just didn't play it. That's great, thank you. I think that's the sugar. <laughs> 